Hello, we are Operation Diabetes at Campbell University. Today we are going to review how to monitor your blood glucose levels. First, we will show you how to use a glucose meter. Then we will discuss what the glucose readings mean and how to interpret them. To measure your blood glucose at home, you will need a glucose meter, testing strips, a lancing device, lancets, alcohol swabs, bandages, and a sharps container. This can be purchased from a medical supply store or you can use a hard plastic container such as a milk jug. Before you begin, lay out all your testing materials so they are easily accessible. Turn on the glucose meter and familiarize yourself with its functions. Each meter is a little different, but all meters perform the same basic functions. Insert a test strip into the glucose meter. Insert a lancet into your lancing device and prime the lancet using the priming button. Using an alcohol swab, clean the finger that you will be pricking. Be sure when pricking the finger to prick the side of the finger rather than the pad of the finger. Now we will prick the finger using the lancet device. Place the lancet on the finger and press the release button on the lancet. This will trigger the lancet and the needle will penetrate the skin. Use a cotton ball to wipe away the first drop of blood from the finger as this drop could contain residual alcohol. Gather blood from the finger onto the end of the test strip. While waiting for the reading to appear on the screen of the glucose meter, bandage the finger if necessary and dispose of the used lancet into the sharps container. Use the glucose reading to determine your next action. According to the American Diabetes Association, the goal blood glucose range prior to eating a meal is between 80 to 130 milligrams per deciliter, and the goal for blood glucose two hours after eating a meal is less than 180 milligrams per deciliter. If your blood glucose is ever below 70 milligrams per deciliter, this is considered hypoglycemia, and you may notice the symptoms of sweating, shakiness, and trouble thinking. These same symptoms you may have experienced when you haven't eaten in a while. Follow your doctor's instructions on how to proceed after any hypoglycemic or hyperglycemic readings.